Hey, what's up everyone? Dragon back again with another edition of the Kaiju Commentary. On this one, we are wrapping up the epic Gamera Heisei trilogy with Gamera Revenge of Eris. Now, when you see the Toho logo appear on your screen, that is your cue to start listening to us. We're going to kick things off in three, two, one. Hello, and welcome back to the Kaiju <laughs> Commentary. Don't laugh yet. We are watching uh, 1999's <laughs> Gamera 3. Revenge of Eris. Uh, we're laughing because this is like the fourth or fifth time at this point trying to start this commentary, and the one thing or another kept going wrong. The last time we, the subtitles apparently weren't aren't, weren't automatic. So, but this is your first time hearing it, so don't laugh yet. Yeah, don't laugh. <laughs> or or you can, you know, we're yeah. pretty fine. I mean, yeah, we're pretty good. By the way, it no, might be not. pronounced <laughs> Iris. I'm not sure. We're just going with this. Right I always say Eris. I do. do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do. <laughs> so I was. That was what I was saying before. This is kind of a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as you were saying before. <laughs> yeah. When I, God damn it, guys. <laughs> Time number two. I think it was. <laughs> it's been just so many times. But yeah, so this one came a few years later. Obviously. One and two are kind of back to back in terms of the years, but they kind of put a little bit of distance between us. And one of the other, oh, yum, oh, that's done really well, by the way. Because that looks, nasty. <laughs> yeah, that thing looks gross. I don't want to be anywhere near it. Um, but yeah, so um, a lot of people kind of consider this. Most people consider this like the best of the Gamma trilogy. I mean, it's the Bayless. Not everyone's going to agree with that, but most people will agree this is the best one. Uh, it's by and large, a lot of people consider this the best Gamera movie and one of the best kaiju movies ever made. And yes, I know, some of you are probably listening to this thinking, I disagree with everything you just said, but, you know, the, as a whole, it's held in very, very high regard and for good reason. It's an exceptionally well-made film that transcends the genre. So it's one of those movies where even if you're not a kaiju fan, I think you could probably enjoy this film because it works as a very good kind of character drama both for the humans and the kaiju so I like it a lot Jams tag. <laughs> slow tension please very slow tension very slow I like my tension slow <laughs> I like I'm typically, a, I'm typically a hard and fast <laughs> tension kind of guy I was gonna say I like it slow and sexual but slow and sexual tension. I was I wasn't gonna do it. What does slow sexual tension look like? <laughs> look like? Is this uh, just agonizing? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I feel like that'd be very odd. Describing sexual tension as slow. <laughs> is it? Oh, I'm not even gonna say what I was thinking there. See, that's what I. Well, a little too offensive, even for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It must have been pretty bad. You're that folks. You uh, reached a milestone here. <laughs> So I love this part coming up because it's going to kind of establish something very significant about Gamera, at least in this particular continuity. Um, a lot of times monsters in these films, Kaiju, they're always kind of singular events. But uh, right here we're <laughs> seeing that Gamera was in fact... Chilling. One, well, no, one of many. This is a, kind of the remains of oh, yeah, a bunch yeah. of different Gamera. This is a, a Gamera graveyard implying that this ancient civilization that engineered Gamera made had lots of cameras. Yeah. That's awesome. So also kind actually, of terrifying I'm, for them, I'm sure. I want a prequel to this movie. I know, uh, right? <laughs> it's yeah. like, just imagine a world where you have like dozens of cameras like battling. The camera menace. But it's also kind of cool too, because it makes you wonder too, was it implied that these were they they kind of implied that these were like less successful Gammers. Like, the Gamera that we have now was, like, rather than being the sur only surviving Gamera, is actually, like, the final model. Mm. Like, they were kind of perfecting... Or, excuse me, THE Revenge of Eris. Yeah, I've seen it written both ways. How dare you get it wrong. In terms of the kaiju movies I've watched, I, the Gamera movies have been, like, always very enjoyable to watch. Well, these. You didn't see the earlier ones. You watched one, one of the earlier <laughs> ones. Yeah. Oh, wait, you I mean, did? that one was funny. But then they got, like, yeah. But it was... They got pretty bad after. But yeah, no, These th ones are definitely awesome. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. They're really, like, good movies. You know what I mean? That, that, that's that's the thing about it. Like, And I've always told people, it's like, there are certain genre films where I realize that I like it because I like the genre, but I can recognize mm -hmm. that it's not 
not exactly high art, you know what I mean? Right. But they're also, with any genre, there are films that kind of really stand out where I'm like, no, if you just love movies, you will at the very least have an appreciation for certain movies, regardless if it's like your normal fanfare kind of thing. I like how here you're, they're kind of showing you a lot of the first movie because the only real complaint I ever most people had about uh, Legion was that it was kind of a standalone movie. It really had nothing to do with the first film or you know the third one. So here we're getting a flashback. This is this is basically the when Gamma was battling Gauss in the first film. There's something about that happened here lent itself to basically well everything that's happening in the third one. And no, Gamera does not fight a giant cat. That would be amazing. <laughs> I just like Gamera's backstory. Yeah. And like, actually, like, it just piques your curiosity, like, what you want to know. Like, the more they no. yeah. show you regarding Gamera's backstory, you're like... Well, it's kind of... Well, what much. else? What else? Like, what? Well, yeah. Well, it's kind of like Godzilla was created by man accidentally... Mm-hmm. And Gamma was done so purposely. So it's yeah. interesting in that sense. Well, and then just the idea of there just being a lot of Gamma's. Yeah. And and right here you're going to get a shot of what has been dubbed Nightmare Gamma. And you'll see why. Because you're seeing this event happen through the memories of this girl. He looks way cooler. Yeah. So obviously we know how he looked in the first movie, but it's basically you're kind of seeing kind of how like when you remember something, your mind tends to embellish and warp. And for her, this is something she's lived with as a nightmare. So in her mind, Gamma has been kind of turned into something horrific and frightening. So you're you're seeing how that as Gamma was, but how she kind of has remembered him as the monster that killed her parents, even though it was accidental. But, you, you know, a lot of times you see in kaiju films where, you know, these scenes just going through buildings and it's just like, okay, whatever. But on the ground, people are dying, you know, and just because you survive doesn't mean someone you care about automatically will. Mm-hmm. So I like how we're kind of seeing the perspective of, because uh, by this point in time, the world kind of likes Gamera because he's saved them twice. But um, you're interesting thing not every, you know, someone like her who's lost somebody, like actually hates Gamera. And it's kind of a very kind of human element where, you know... Yeah, and it's probably frustrated with, it's like everybody loves Gamera, but... Everybody For didn't. her personally, it's like, you know, what she lost because of, or what she feels like is because of Gamera. Yeah. And she saw it happen, too. It wasn't like an out of sight, out of mind, you know. She used to be sweet, that was, that was kind of mean. Yeah. To say. Oh, yeah, and it's kind of the classic kind of Cinderella story a little bit where she has to go live with her shitty, you know, relatives who treat her like guard. It's a little bit like a Harry Potter thing, you know, your parents yeah. died and, you know, you get you have to go live with bad relatives and then you're going to be caught up in the you know, with something that was kind of the events involved with losing your parents. So I guess J.K. Rowling was a big Gamma fan. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this. <laughs> yeah, I think it's undeniable. Harry Potter, have you seen Gamera? <laughs> Basically, it's like, ooh, hello there. Hi. <laughs> she actually played a uh, had a small role in Shin. <laughs> this guy's a, behind her. Oh my god. Oh yeah, this guy's a this guy's a peach. <laughs> <laughs> that coat he's wearing, or whatever. That that the whole this whole thing about his. Those little uh, beads and kind of jewels. <laughs> Anyone who holds, like, look at him. Yeah. He's like, I'm just. The guy just screams evil. Constantly <laughs> screaming. <Evil. laughs> I don't know if he is, but he definitely looks. He sure as hell screaming it. <laughs> yeah. yeah Whether it's truthful or not is another story. <laughs> he is. Li- he is literally screaming evil. He's in the background going, Eva! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Probably just 
blew out everyone's ears. Well, it's evil, so... It's yeah. true. It's evil true. cares not for <laughs> the well-being of others. <laughs> yeah. Hence, evil yeah. will not... does not care about your ears. <laughs> That's so evil. <laughs> so evil. So one of the thing, interesting things about this movie does too that again it's gonna like you were talking about how you like Gamera's backstory like this film is gonna go dive really deep into kind of how Gamera and things like Gamera have actually we've known about them for centuries but have been kind of steeped in legend and we're kind of now realizing it again it's like I keep saying Godzilla 2014 really felt like Gamera in a lot of ways where you basically find out that all the old stories of monsters and beasts of legend were actually us seeing kaiju way back when and that godzilla himself is an ancient being just like gamera so Mm -hmm. we're now correctly identifying them as what they are but you know and even you know that's the thing original 54 godzilla a lot of people say that you know the people of odo island had the legend of gojita you know it's implied that the bomb mutated him but they had stories on this island going back thousands of years of this ancient sea beast that they used to sacrifice virgin girls to and all that kind of thing. So Godzilla could have, and even the Japanese country, could have been just that old, just not super powered yet. Mm-hmm. So I don't. I like it when they do stuff like this with kaiju, kind of explain to them, like, you know, we've we've seen them before. I've always liked that, sort of, like, oh, they were here before us, and now they've come back. Yeah, because for like, them, they can slumber for eons, so... Yeah. An entire species could have, you know, like the the sort of just the play on like you know humanity feels as if you know it owns the earth. It's like no, but yeah. no, these are the things that yeah own that the earth belongs to. Exactly. Right? Again, if if something can live for millions of years, then it's one of the things where it's like okay, well, in the time it's taken human civilizations to kind of rise up, it would have been the blink of an eye mm-hmm. while it's sleeping. So it's suddenly any illusion we have of control or supremacy is just yeah. that. It's just we just happened to kind of come up in the world while it was sleeping. Yeah, and I mean, that's kind of obviously, it's the common theme of many kaiju movies, is just it's just playing off, like, the hubris of humanity. Yeah. And that's and I think that's why, again, it, you know, giant monster movies, that's how, why they're so big. It, it really is, it's our hubris. We think so much of ourselves that we're so grand and so great, so okay, fine, then... We'll make a monster that's so big. Yeah, Godzilla so. is our ego. Yeah. <laughs> and I think Gamera is kind of our our humbling response. It's like, okay, we'll have a monster that'll fight for us, but in turn, the price we pay to have it fight for us is going to be a, a costly one. Like her, okay, Gamera saved the city and killed her parents. Mm-hmm. Again, not on purpose, but the price we have, you know, for our mistakes is we create... You know, it's like a little bit how they did Pacific Rim to fight monsters. We made monsters. We're here. It's a monster that's not really in our control. Sorry. Just, <laughs> I got, just got straight up rejected. <laughs> <laughs> but another... Burn! Got the topics just got... Yeah. <laughs> See how that guy got burned? No, you ain't getting none of this. So, all right, no problem. I got this. She pulls out a phone. They're in. Send the strike team. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Milky, Milky puts on glasses, lights a cigarette. Oh shit! This is brown bear to white fox. <laughs> Jesus. Scramble the jets. <laughs> Fighters on my position. Lock on target. Engage. These school children cannot be left alive. <laughs> They're too dangerous. If allowed to grow into adults, <laughs> they may reproduce. <laughs> oh my God. Change the entire political landscape of Tokyo. This movie's just this really in-depth, like, political... Yeah. Their child is destined to <laughs> commit <laughs> atrocities that, <laughs> that mankind will never recover from. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think he might have just written the, uh, the everyone, listen, movie of all time. everyone listening is like, uh, this is not the movie I remember. <laughs> is this, uh, 
That's a director's cut, maybe. <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> what's what scene are you watching? <laughs> so, like now, how it's gonna kind of show, like, kind of been like mythology and how it's kind of linking its way into kind of like these kaiju and again even for her i like how it's it feels like a stretch for her you can tell sell she's not really buying it yet but again i always like it when it's people kind of off to the side who kind of figure this stuff out because no one would realistically think to look to this mm -hmm. so it, it gets overlooked It's totally a, a, a firebird. Totally. Yeah. I mean, if I had, it is like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This is like Harry Potter is just nothing but like Gamera fan films. <laughs> oh, this. Is, uh, it, it's it's like how uh, it's it? uh, it's almost a rip off, but not quite. Not quite. <laughs> not quite. All the Harry Potter fans now, it's their a, it's fingers like, are blazing it's as, on their it's keyboards as right much now. Much of its own. Own thing, yeah. I would say. I guess it's but, a, whatever, but it's all right. Okay, fine. All right, <laughs> Harry Potter fans. I guess we can let you have this one. Yeah. You're welcome. God, stop stealing our shit. Yeah, mind. the boy who lived, the camera who lived. <laughs> it's like, come on, guys. All right, yeah, yeah. Try, try to tell me they're different. Yeah, I dare you. Nice try. We laugh, but seriously, some gamer, or, uh, Harry Potter friends are going to hear this. You're like, oh, yeah, well, fuck you. It's going to be me. It's going to blow up the comment yeah. section. Yeah. Yeah. Next thing you see Gamma with a wand. They were like, seriously? Gamma <laughs> <laughs> just tells to expect our Patrona. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter is this giant flying turtle. Right. Right. Yeah, they're different. <laughs> totally different. Totally is obviously the character also from the first film, so it's kind of we're harkening back to people we saw before, and obviously she's been working. Shibuya. Yep, studying the Gauss now for a while, so you kind of see that she's Damn. now Gauss. Gauss. His glasses, she's styling. I know. It's like great if they're made of gold. Harry Potter glasses. Oh god, almost. handheld, unnecessary. Get a steady cam. Quick, 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 quick. <laughs> oh. Remember uh, no, from... you must yeah. you must be mistaken. <laughs> you saw him last in a little cameo when he was working at like that that beer bottling factory. Mm hmm and it's kind of I was saying it's kind of sad because he, he, he stopped being a cop and basically became like a rent a cop because he was so shaken by the events in the first film what he saw and now you see him here and he's fallen like even lower and I was going to say it, you know he's always kind of played by the com comedy relief in these movies but he's really sad because look how kind of affected he was by the and again that's what I mean by having realistic you know like reactions we always talk about these movies like oh wouldn't it be cool to see you know, but people don't realize if you witness something like that, you know, that would fuck you up. Yeah, for a lot. Of, not everyone would think it's the coolest thing ever. And I like how this guy he, he I would. Yeah, <laughs> I would. I think it's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> but you know, he see how kind of just scared and kind of PTSD he's become about this whole thing. Where now he doesn't even. Now he's just you know selling papers on the sidewalk. He just he went from being a, a, like a detective to working as a security guard now he just doesn't even want to be in any kind of authoritative position because he's just so shell shocked why is that child of an icon so jealous <laughs> I love how these school girls are picking on him too I'm like you guys need to get a hobby look at him look at him why would they be picking on him because they don't like that other girl she's kind of like the social pariah in town mm, well they pick on her well He's not going to mind. Oh, all these older girls are talking to me. <laughs> Sweet. Starts taking out baby powder, putting his hand, and she starts handing out slaps. <laughs> like, say some shit. 
Say some shit. I didn't fucking think so. <laughs> and she's like, shut up. <laughs> shut up, little boy. It says, however you hold hands. Yeah, so I like how you're getting this kind of back and forth. And again, he's not wrong. Everything he's saying is true. But at the same time, you, you, you know, would you feel... I mean, logically speaking, we know, yes, what Gamera is doing is good and beneficial. We're lucky to have him. But, you well, know... Well, again, it's, it's like the whole aspect you never see in kaiju films. The Yeah, like the people, you know, yeah, you survive, but guess what? Your, your parents were crushed to death in a building. You know, it's kind of like... Yeah, you'll see the the uh, very often most of the movies end with whatever cast of characters that we were following throughout the film. Yeah, being happy. Oh, we, you know. Yeah, kind we of defeated, started. We overcame. You're like whatever. We don't see the aftermath of what it, uh, the effect that it had on a person on a personal level. Right. Well, it's kind of one of those things where you know if you know somebody you care about get hit by a car, but you know it was because. You know, a dog, you know, just ran, you know, ran out. Or basically, you know, someone tapped into their car and it knocked him off the side of the road. And they jumped, he popped a curve and hit your parents on the sidewalk. You know, it's not their fault, but there'd be some people who would still harbor, you know, yeah. ill will to that person. Because at the end of the day, they are the ones who directly killed them. Even though that was not their intention and if it wasn't for extraneous circumstances, it would have never have happened. But it's emotion gets in, you know, involved, and you and it's kind of a non uh, logical response. But you can't help but feel the way you feel. She is very hot. Hot. Very hot. He's rocking that. Uh, all the pink. I know that's pink a, nails, pink lipstick, pink. Seat. She was all white yeah. before, and no, in all white, and then she's all now she's all all pink. But in a, in, a, in a business setting or in a very formal Japanese setting, you know, the interesting thing is she's going to be very striking because over there they don't wear colors like this. I think it's kind of established yeah, that. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's very yeah. striking. But it's establishing that, yeah, there's something very kind of. <laughs> she's laughing over there. She's t- totally striking, bro. I'm totally so striking. Yeah. I, I was totally stricken uh, by uh, how striking uh, she was. Got Jeez. stroke. Got struck. Stricken. <laughs> Again, uh, it's funny, but you, this guy is like, oh gosh. Yep. And by the way, the CG in this film is by far the best you've seen in any of the Gamera films. And for a non-Hollywood film in the late '90s, it's going to be pretty impressive. I mean, not all of it is you know amazing, but when you consider the place and the time, it's actually pretty damn good. And it's going to finally show Gamera from a slightly different perspective. Because, again, we've always seen, like, okay, Gamera is here to protect us. And he is, but his methods are, you know, he's not... Gamera's not taking into consideration, like, every individual person on the ground. He kind of does everything for the greater greater good. good. And in this film, you're going to kind of see what that means for us. So, he might save the city, but he's not going to do so by just pulling his punches, if you know what I mean. Crabs. Yeah, uh, something's falling. That's right in front of the station. Oh my goodness. Yep, we've been there. That's right where we were. Uh... That didn't happen. No, that didn't happen while we were there. Unfortunately. Did camera do that? Yeah. He blew, he fire blasted yeah. the gauss. Basically, it's to say now, the gauss are around still. They're like a species now that's kind of propagated. So basically, camera kind of Hunts them down. goes, yeah, it's kind of like seeking and destroying. Oh, that's really cool looking. Yeah. I would like to see a camera movie made today. They were going to make one. And they did a like a, a test trailer for it. It looked awesome. Yeah, it was all CG and it looked. Am- I like how here and this is going to be the uh, the most visually like scary looking camera. They've kind of made him look more edgy in each film, and this one he's going to look really. Uh, really kind of maybe a little bit more Godzilla-esque for lack of a better description. Yeah, and see right here, you're seeing him just landing in a city what it does. And this is the first camera film that shows it from this well, perspective. Again, even with the Godzilla, they don't show this kind of stuff as much now. Now. 
Yeah, I love his design. And the way, and the miniature sets here too. The, it looks like this is actually giant. The way yeah. they scale it, it uh, looks like it's as big as it is. And the perspective shots they do here, the composite ones are done so well that, yeah, see, people are being crushed to death. That's him just turning around that did that. Uh, Again, he's not going after people, but he's like, all right, my job is to destroy Gauss. Okay. So wherever gas is, I go and destroy it by any means necessary. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Eyeball hanging out. Oh, this one, it, he looks so cool. I know. You will die, Gauss. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I need to find this as a gif. <laughs> yeah. He feels like the Punisher. Gamera in this movie, it kind of feels like the Punisher a little bit. That's a good way yeah. to describe him. So, okay. Oh, Kills boom. Gauss, but in the process... Bye-bye, Hachiko. But at what cost? Exactly. Look at him. Bye-bye, Shibuya. Gamera That's... answers to no one. And again, the previous films, you didn't, you never saw it like this. But now no. we're one of the main characters in this film is a person who does not like Gamera because of this. Because of when he comes to save us, he's killing us simultaneously. It's a really big fire. That is a really big fire. You would think he would eat it now. I'm like, dude, just just eat it back up, put it out. It looks like a alien egg right there. I know. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Holy shit, everyone! You know what's bad? If they're interrupting and bursting into a meeting. Yeah, that over there, that'd be like one of the most like disrespectful things you could do. So if they're doing it, <laughs> it's because something like this is happening. It's just so weird because we were here recently. And I'm pretty sure that was a composite shot, too. So that was actually the real, like... Yeah. This looks really good. But... Yeah. All the effects look really good so far. Bye bye, child. Bye bye. This looks better than Godzilla ninety eight. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> How dare you, better. sir? Why did I even? Yeah. Why did I even say that? Oh, and it's cool. They again. They did a lot of the more of the perspective shots like that from the ground. Yeah. Again, that's an entirely digital gas right there. Oh, weird. We just saw that building, so it's funny to see it go. Not funny, but like strange to see it go down. I think that's pretty funny. Ooh. Slicey Ray. <laughs> Don't look directly at it. <laughs> oh, that looks so cool. I know. Man. Oh my god. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Okay, Camera's this like... movie is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you'd love this one. This is like literally like we directed it. <laughs> it was like, alright. Everything is gonna look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and he has yet to hit the thing he's trying to destroy. Yet he's already destroyed. Like, oh, look at him! Just every explosion, just dialed to a yeah. one. Because that's the thing, and people don't realize Gamma is not he was not created to defend us. He was created to destroy Gauss. Yeah. But that means by any means necessary. So again, if Gauss is in the middle of a city, Gamma just like firebombs the city. He doesn't care. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Yep. And that's the thing. This is happening probably in the first movie too. Yeah. But you shoot it from like the heroic perspective. Yeah. And here it's it's kind of I won't say it more realistic. It's showing oh, you like yeah. this is what's happening. When Gamera blows something out of the sky, it doesn't just go away. It falls on people and kills them. You know what I mean? Do that squish sound? Did you yeah. That? Yeah, that's pretty. Uh... If Gamera goes through a building and the city has not been evacuated, guess what? People are Fuck dying. Fuck people. Did but he But you know? see, it's perspective. For the kid's perspective, all he saw was Gamera saved me. Mm -hmm. But how many other people did he kill yeah. in the process? So 
Oh man, that shot's good too. Yeah, like, everything is on fire. Again, it's all a matter of perspective. It's it, it's kind of a, your personal uh, encounter, I guess. You know, for that kid, no one he knew died, and he got saved by Gamera. For her, you know, G- you know, Gamera was directly responsible for you know killing someone she knew. So her take on the exact same thing is the opposite. Yeah. What's she gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? You're gonna do nothing. What you gonna do with all that hate? All that hate inside? No, I'm just kidding. sorry. Get out. <laughs> Get out. The monster show is thought to be camera. They're not sure. Was that camera? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely a very large spinning turtle. Some kind of uh, airborne terrapin of some kind. <laughs> We have we, we do get a lot of those so there's, yeah there's not enough to to be sure at this we don't want to we don't want to profile <laughs> I'm sorry because that'd be wrong I'm sorry no more questions no more questions that is all but 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 sir <laughs> <laughs> yikes that's a lot of people yeah and this would be standard but I like how this film is talking about yeah. it yeah again this 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 camera film has probably some of the most high fantasy s kind of elements to it ironically yet it's probably one of the most grounded yeah like kaiju films despite that because it, it basically says okay if this happened no matter how ridiculous what we're seeing is happening let's just say it happened is this like the this would be the it. civil the marvel civil war of uh captain america civil war of uh kaiju movies it's like it's the repercussions of all the destruction. There's kind like, of, yeah. <laughs> Again, it, it we're, we're very quick. Or the Batman v Superman of <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of camera. <laughs> but it, it, it's it's kind of true though because again, it's and this is actually something I hope they do in twenty fourteen because at the end of that movie they see like Godzilla standing. Up. I I wouldn't be surprised because because the news the, bo- the way twenty fourteen was shot and it was like what a lot of people complained about right like not seeing Godzilla enough and it was because it was shot from the perspective, from the perspective of the people and like the and it was just you know when the people were just trying to save people as what was going on was going on yeah. and it was. And of course, was, you had that news bulletin and it says, you know, King of Monsters, Safe City, you know, kind of like that. And naturally, that's a good headline you want to get people to watch. But mm-hmm. I want to see some, I want to see it where if maybe they kind of explore that, where some people are like, yay, Godzilla's our savior. You know, it was good that he came. And other people are going to be like, well, my wife and kids were crushed to death. You know, yeah. fuck you. Basically, no, he's not. Or just even more, like, it doesn't even have to be that personal. It could just be just. Did he save us or did he like, just kill the other monster? Right. And doesn't that mean he is, in fact, the worst monster? Because he was apparently the yeah. most powerful yeah. one. So now we're just stuck with the worst one. <laughs> oh. I love Japan's countryside. I know. I always gush about Japan in these movies, but seriously, if you've never been, just go. And you and say that every time, too. I do. But that's the thing. you don't even have to be into kaiju films or anime or manga. Video. Even if you're not into like all the, the stuff that we are. But if you're watching this, you probably are. Yeah, if you, well, I would hope so. Otherwise, you're probably like, well, what the fuck are we watching? <laughs> yeah. But it's just an amazing... Time. And it's visually, it's very beautiful. Even, like, the, the urban sprawls. It just There's no place in the world to like it. So for that reason, I'll just go check it out. Just to say you've been. Because I guarantee you, you'll have stories to tell. But also, if you love all this stuff, too, then you should really go. Yeah. For sure. Show. So right away, we're you know getting a connection to like you know that perhaps something about Gamma related to Gamma has kind of always been with us. That you know it took it took basically kind of Gamma's re- reappearance to kind of make us realize what maybe what we've been looking at for years and years. He's like, oh shit. That's illegal in Japan. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I know. If you uh, mess with, like, shrines or temples over there... Oh, like... I meant having the 10-inch dagger on you, but oh, yeah, yeah that too. the whole shrine thing, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Just like a double whammy right there. Oh, I know. But, yeah, no, that is a, an incredibly big offense over it's there. A, it's a ceremonial dagger, though. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. He's mine. Found him. This my is friend. My oh. tentacle monster. I'll be. What is it? 
<gasps> is it a mini Gamera? Is it Gamera Baby? Nope, it's a... Uh... Is it Gals? Is it uh, a... Kind of, sort of to that. They is will... it a Gyalsmra? A Gyalsmra. <laughs> is it a Skialpel? <laughs> All right, anyway, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it uh, it's slimy. They'll kind of explain it, but it it is connected to Gauss. I will say that. It's kind of oh shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like a Pokemon in a weird way. In a weird way. In a weird way. In a weird way. It's a Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. Now I always heard by people that the. They actually preferred the Dreamcast over PlayStation. A lot of people loved the Dreamcast. But, but PlayStation, because it was Sony, had more of a foothold in the market, so it won out. Because basically... Well, Dreamcast didn't have any games. Yeah, but games. they said a lot of people preferred the console itself. Finally got a girl in my room! Now we're going to play some Well, a lot games. of stuff that it did it was like ahead of its time. Yeah. I believe it was actually capable of connecting to the internet. Mm. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. Well, look what he's using it for right here. Science. Yeah. Well, what could the Dreamcast do? Science. Super science. Super science. We need to study the, the gas data. I'll get my Dreamcast. <laughs> I love Japan. In Japan, how do they research gas with a fucking gaming console? <laughs> it's the greatest country ever. That's how, see guys, if you want to do, get impress girls with science, get them in your room. You use a gaming console to do it. <laughs> Works every time. Works every time. Work with me. Yeah, I did. I, 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 Actually, I, it was kind of opposite. I, I, I wooed you with science via my my PS2. This guy, look at him. He can't even be bothered. He's like motherfucker. I want to answer this phone, and I swear to God. Uh, we need to see more of her. I mean, more of her. You <laughs> <laughs> get it? Get your blade out. Son. You know, she played a, a military official in Shin and basically kind of showing that before they could fire any of the the art missiles or whatever at a Shin's like third form and he kind of went upright. <laughs> she had to get on the radio with the people on the ground, then talk to the prime minister like, do we have permission to shoot this? And he would say yes, so you get back on the radio and she was like the go-between for all of that. I was all like, I was hey. just looking at porn. It's nothing. It's fine. It's nothing mystical. Just porn. Uh, it's not porn. <laughs> this is my porn dagger. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a dildo. Wow. Um, ouch. Yeah. Ouch, he's right. It's ten inches. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> She'll be here all week, folks. Look at how smug she's being. Hell yeah. She's like, well, yeah. Because I do. Just like me, he gets. I'm me. actually a tentacle monster. His parents were killed by Gamera too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks this will be fine as long as this isn't happening after midnight. And then his parents killed someone else's parents. Yep. And they have a Gamera baby that will <laughs> grow up to fight this cow. <laughs> Just an endless uh, cycle of violence. <laughs> yeah. Hey. It's a can opener. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I know. It's mm -hmm. cute, but not at the same time, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not cute it's at all. ugly cute. <laughs> well, not only that, but it, there's something, like, <laughs> terrifying about it, like... Well, well the, the fact that it's cute. not cute. <laughs> and only terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, that, is that what you meant? <laughs> is, is, that, is that the something you were referring to? <laughs> <laughs> Just it? <laughs> something yeah, terrifying about it. Huge eyebrows. <laughs> I know, damn, wow. She also has <laughs> And I like how they're doing this, like, um... So yeah, now they're saying, like, okay, not everyone. People who maybe watch this happen from afar, you know, would be thinking, oh, this is the great. Why? But the people who would be there when it happened might have a very different, you know, 
you know, kind of view. Yeah, yeah exactly. So if we're, you know, as Americans, we, if we were, if this is happening, we were watching the news, and we were saying, oh, you know, Gamera is fighting Gauss in the heart of Tokyo. We'd be all like, oh, that's good Gamera's there, right, guys? We like Gamera. The people who were in Tokyo was like, well, you know, he probably did more damage than the thing he was fighting. So again, I just like how this film just kind of basically just flips the perspective. That's really all it does. But just in doing so, it completely changes the entire kind of dichotomy of the movie and the story, which is really interesting. Because it's a really simple thing to do, but it's kind of it makes makes it an original take on a kaiju film at this time anyway. There's been more that done it since, but this one was definitely breaking a lot of ground. Uh oh. We got a giant bird incoming. <laughs> His face like, oh shit. Uh, never mind, there were, and they're, were, all, and they're all dead. <laughs> you stole my line. I love that Gauss, like, skeleton. Um. Wow, she has. I, I want it. Maybe I'll go on Mandarake after and look it up to the end of that. <laughs> Come to work. And there we have Asagi, Stephen Seagal's daughter. I'm mad. In Japan. Oh man, rocking that short haircut, and she comes back. She kind of had more of a minor role in the second I film. I really don't see how she's related to Steven Seagal. <laughs> Have you seen her? Uh, I'm still gonna bring that up. Her handwork. I don't know. Her handwork. That's what he does. He uh, Steven Seagal is like a black belt in like keto, which is a lot of just like disarming techniques. So it's yeah, a lot of no, just... he's not. <laughs> But yeah, no, she's going to have a a bigger role. Well, in a weird way, this girl is essentially her. But she's kind of bonded with another creature. And again, if, you know, very it would happen. I love the way this whole scene is lit too, by the way. This is probably one of the most beautiful scenes in the whole movie because of the way it's lit. Yeah. Is it dying? Or is it transforming? You will see. Where it left. I like the shell. And it killed a bunch of stuff. Well, yeah, you're kind of seeing that. That's kind of how it defeat. It kind of just... I said it just kind of absorbs life. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm nervous. <laughs> it's going to suck the life out of her. I'm sorry, but it is in my nature. I'm dead. Yeah, this thing is terrifying. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon. See, it's evolving. Yeah. And I just love how this is all done. Again, yes, I know the CGI is dated, but just from a cinematography perspective, it's yeah. a beautiful shot. And because of what they have in... Hey, whoa. Um, oh, no. Slow down. Yeah, buy, I don't know what's happening here. I'm gonna buy you a drink first. Holy Tentacles. shit. Tentacles. You're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, no. here it comes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is weird. You thought Shape of Water was awkward, right? Yeah. Woo. Again. Oh, what is happening? <laughs> a cocoon of tentacles. I'm not even... Hungry. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> So she just be like, yeah, you can absorb me. By the way, I love The Shape of Water. That was meant to be at a jag. Congratulations, Guillermo del Toro. You deserve the Oscar. Yes. That is an Eliza source. Is that what happened? She just got absorbed into it? Uh, not entirely. It's a prelude to what ultimately was going to happen. But you're also kind of seeing, basically, whereas when she bonded with Gamera, like, you know, she could she could feel Gamera's pain, but it was okay. It was more just because they shared a bond. Whereas when Iris is bonding with her, you're going to see there's going to be a more direct toll. 
like where where her and Gamrit's kind of symbiotic with the other girl in um in um in Eris, it's more parasitic. Mm-hmm. So what you what you at first looks like almost like a sweet bond is mm-hmm. actually something far more nefarious. So it it so looks I just on how gross it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how here they're also bringing up a lot. See, this movie is really ahead of its time because they're also bringing up a lot of the environmental issues like what we're doing to the world and kind of like how that's changing kind of perhaps even Gamera's role in it. Camera will destroy. That's what Camera does, and will well, yeah. always do. <laughs> but again, they say okay, Camera might become more of a malicious force. Again, yeah. doing what he does, but by different means. If you know, if Camera, it's got a difference of Camera going after something versus just hovering above the city, just blanketing with fire. You know, it's kind of Camera's nature might start to be affected. He'll still do what he's created to do, but might do so through very different means. Oh. Disappointed. <laughs> I just screamed at him. <laughs> oh, nice. Are they siblings? Is that why they're in the same place? Yeah. That was awkward. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> I didn't pick up on that I mean uh, <laughs> oh, <no>. platonic <laughs> I made this in arts and crafts I should say it was like really old yikes Ooh, got a sexy leg there I mean not sexy I forgot how old she is just forget the whole thing <laughs> this is so gross just strike that from the record <laughs> I meant because, in his point of view, it would have been. I don't think so. I don't. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I don't know what you're into, but uh. Ew! <laughs> Ew, God! I would not be cock blocked by ears. <laughs> oh my God! No, knowing this happened, I would never have sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> she she was she wasn't raped by ears, if that's what you thought. No, it was just that, no, that she, she just, was inside Iris. Yeah, she was just grossly connected like that. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just going to throw up. <laughs> He's going to die, isn't he? You're so slimy. Seriously, she's just always kind of creepily... Th- yeah. Uh, uh, it would me. Somebody roofied her. It was Eris. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sure she's fine. We've all had those nights. So disgusting. <laughs> but again, all practical effects. You can see how, how well it was done. Yeah. <laughs> like so if, if that happened to me, I was just like, "Let me die, please, <laughs> just kill me." Or if like I saw it and I took the knife, and just, <laughs> just done. Yeah, I'm Do dead. me in. I'm just dead. I don't. I can't go on living. Maybe just let you throw out in the rain a little bit longer to kind of rinse her off. The credits just go up. That's a movie. Mm. Like, huh, well, all right. <laughs> Gross. Look at those Rubik's Cubes. So like how they're implying, too, that gas is just all over the world. Like, aside from this issue that's building, there's still the larger, like, global issue of, like, gas becoming, like, you know, this worldwide. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this guy, what is, what is, he hasn't even done anything this entire time. Hasn't he, though? He's just been there screaming <laughs> evil. <laughs> Evil! 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 She's just looking at that news reporter going, You will lose. 
You will lose. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. Can, can you please stop coming near me? Last time I did. Yeah, so this is all really sad. Like, you, you really feel bad. Because, again, his... You know, I, I love how his character didn't become this action guy. He was a normal guy. He was a cop, whatever. And then got caught up in something that was so big that it just... You know, he's like, I'm not, I'm, I'm not prepared for that kind of thing. Yeah. You know, and it just it messed him up. And I, and I, again, I like that this whole movie is showing everything from kind of like the ground level, both kind of literally and figuratively. You know, not everyone is like would be like her, where she's gonna like you know seize the day and we're gonna learn about things. I mean, good for her, but a lot of people would just. Can't overcome the fear of it. Yeah, I mean, think if you saw that. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I think we all like to think that. I mean, I know I like to think that. Yeah, I'd be able to deal with it. <laughs> but here's the thing: realistically, as much as I love these movies, as much as I love the concept of what kaiju are, if I ever was like face to face with something like that, I would not be surprised at all if I just you know shit my pants right there. <laughs> I, would, I would be the guy whose sole purpose is to kill it. Godzilla, Gamera. You'd be that guy. Gamera, yeah. The guy who just stoically looks up at everything. Yep. I, I, <laughs> Godzilla. My internal monologue the entire time is that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you, I, I, will de- I will defeat you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> you won't escape me this time. I swear to God. That's how you know. I, I constantly swear to God every time. That's how you know. Every time I say that's how you know I'm serious. Time. I mean business. Cue the uh, the beer logo pops up. <laughs> and now, and now, go. <laughs> yeah. Little jingle. Drink beer. I don't always drink beer, but when I do, it's it's camera. What? What? Oh, it's all cleaned up. Yep. Ready to go. Ready, to work, ready for action. I'm just going to defeat Gamera, no matter the cost. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. So for them, this would be kind of oddly uh, reminiscent to what they saw in the first film. Yeah. And there's the asshole-ish family. Fuck them bitches. What? <laughs> Fuck them bitches. They were bitches to her. Yeah. Fuck them apparently, right? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. It's like, never mind. I don't want to do this. I want to be a bum in the street again. I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> and then her. Me too. Nah, we're <laughs> They're both just selling bags on the side of the road. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Didn't yeah, work out. I don't care. I think I'm going like... to move to the United States where none of this ever happens. Well, they're monsters get attacked. They hide in buildings and get shot to death. But you know, yeah. a day later, <laughs> yeah. like, oh. they tunnel underground and then they get blown up. And then they got a better thing going on over there. <laughs> I'm out. He pulls out his head. Like, Sorry, I was just listening to some dope beats. What'd you say? <laughs> It's the, it's the Zarkor theme song. <laughs> he pulls out the earbud and all of a sudden you hear, Fuck the police coming straight from the underground. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you saying? I was singing. <laughs> all the cops are just there chanting. Look how splotchy Kra. his hair is. Until you like, talk to them, they acknowledge you. Oh, I'm sorry, can I help you? What the hell is that? I know exactly what that is. You know. That there's a spore. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta break this back and study with my Dreamcast. <laughs> yeah, my. Just opens the disk drive and places that will leave inside. (laughs) 
This is nothing like Gee House. So gross. It's well made, though. Ew. I'm just picturing that whole thing again. <laughs> can we just please come back to some shots of Gamera just firebombing him, City? I could deal with that. Yeah, I can do that. I can deal with that. Or just that one chick in the hot pink uh, jacket. <laughs> or have her just flying through a city, firebombing oh, no, it. Oh, a young yeah. boy. That'd be pretty awesome. It'd be so hot. <laughs> Gamera just fights a giant woman in a pink business suit. <laughs> and the cat. She's riding the cat. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh, you're right? She starts kicking him. Yeah. You're right now, huh? This is how I normally pick up men. Did you see something? Run him, run him down through the forest like a freaking panther. I saw nothing. Panther. He just decks her. <laughs> <laughs> see this. <laughs> She's knocked out. He looks down at her. Guess she didn't see that coming. <laughs> right, an explosion behind him. Pulls in a cigar and walks away. Like, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Like, uh, so I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Me, the viewer. Movie's fucking hardcore. <laughs> Just like this hardcore. <laughs> so yeah, right here, she's, you know, they're, now they're putting on, okay, they're a different kind of like amulet or like... It's a black on. one. Slightly different in size and shape. So it's completely different. Shut Just up, Chris. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hers are swollen. swollen Ah, <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> Those black ones in my right. <laughs> oh my god. And thus ended my channel. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. This fucker. Yeah, hell? I'm making my own video game. He hasn't slept in 12 years. <laughs> that was a weird cut. He just got a slice looked at her. Yeah. She, well, she even looked over at him like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, are they together? Yes. I'm not. I are they? So. No, I don't know. They're, or or they does they she just together? always look like she's about to fuck? <laughs> she's always <laughs> down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. I've roofied your train. Like, that, like it's, that's like totally what she looks like. She looks like, oh, it's a, <laughs> like it's about to happen. <laughs> yeah, their whole thing is uh, music. it's a very weird uh, dynamic between those. Yeah, two. It's the weirdest. Just, he just stands in the corner screaming evil, and she just looks hot all the time. Oh yeah, just like it just exudes from her. Yeah, yeah, this is like the weirdest, longest, like tantric foreplay, like thing I've ever. Read. It's the slow sexual whatever. Yeah, the slow sexual tension. tension. Well, what it like, like, there you have slow it. Slow sexual tension between these two. The, what's really hot about? Oh, that's cool right there. Yeah, that's very cool. What's really hot is that it never actually amounts to anything. That's what makes it hot because it's just forever tension. <laughs> yeah. Just... Anybody could just do it, but not us. <laughs> We just get close a lot. <laughs> we just get we, oh, we just get, almost do it all the time. Yeah. Just get real close and never touch. It's like, hey, you want to do it? Nope. Neither do I. <laughs> all right. Are we going to kiss? No. Nope. But we might. Dead, but we won't. <laughs> <laughs> I get off on this slow sexual tension we got. Jesus. <laughs> Uh, well, um, mm. she's really hot, so. Uh, <laughs> oh God! I guess we'll let her take it. Sir, sir, she wants the nuclear launch codes. Is she hot? <laughs> yes, <laughs> give it. Yeah, she's she's really hot, sir. All right, she may have them. See, this is some kind of weird like sex cult thing they're doing here. Cause look at look at this. Yeah. Look at all this. Yeah, this is this is not normal. This is not what normal people do. I have do. no idea what they're up to. Like, what, where was the... I have no idea what led to us this to this moment with them. She's going to bring out some, some scented candles, some oils. Well, who is that? Oh, that's the girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. What is she going to do? <laughs> this is my beat. <laughs> Whatever she's doing is going to involve a slightly different black one. <laughs> Oh, 
Anytime you wake up in a room and there's some kind of odd symbol haphazardly painted on yeah. a wall. How did she end up there? They kidnapped her. Yeah, they took her. Well, I missed that. I guess legally kidnapped her since she had no family left. Because but... mm. that's how that works. Uh-oh. So this is like, well, so what? The girl was like public domain. They just took her. I yes. guess. You're underage. You have no folks. You're mine now. <laughs> Sir, there's this woman here. She wants to take this girl. Is she hot? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let her have it. I'm pretty sure I could have sex with her right now if I ask. <laughs> Look, they're running off in the woods and being very romantic with each other. Fucking amateurs. <laughs> Don't you know where you are? Oh, God. Pokemon. <laughs> Do not scream. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Well, she's going to die. Right? This is what oh, you yeah. get for trying to run into the woods. Well, technically, this is what she came into the woods for. She ran in there for. I just think oh. she got more than she bargained for. Oh, no. Uh, I mean... Uh... So yeah, like with So is she like seeing that happen? Oh god. So hot. That's like some Indiana Jones stuff right there. Oh that was a group dun, effort. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> See legally speaking we probably can't do the whole song. So if we yeah. just do a part technically yeah. Oh wait, I know what's next. <laughs> So hot. Oh god, I think the tension. I think what, she... what is he doing? <laughs> he was just looking. He's like, check yeah. out my ass. Sir, please stand up. <laughs> I will never stand up. <laughs> no, you can't make me. I have a great ass. I'm never going to stand up ever again. <laughs> <laughs> you can stand up, but you'll just always be bent over. Yeah. <laughs> Those tight ass military fatigues. Jesus. <laughs> if I stand up, I'll lose 200 Instagram followers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just got a selfie stick back there. <laughs> He's like a GoPro his like, mounted just yes. above his ass. Like, look how happy he looks right there. So, I like how some people are even saying that, yeah, we get what Gamera's doing, but right now it's like. Yeah. It's the best, you know. Oh, but they're going to need Gamera here again, surely, aren't they? Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, it, it's a, it might sound very kind of callous to say it this way, but it's essentially war. And in war, people die. Like and some people, you know, it's like if you're in a big firefight in the middle of a populated area, yeah, I mean, you know, it's... it's and I've a, never known Iris' parents not to die, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's just what they do. All these guys are these guys mean business. They only brought one helicopter. Amateurs. Clearly, you've never seen Godzilla ninety eight. Doing it right, guys. They don't need a swarm. They don't need a swarm. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, they're all gonna die. And I love how it's just chilling there. Some imagine how creepy that would be. You just come upon that in the forest. Yeah. Um, I would run away <laughs> while puking my guts out. This is the most disgusting looking monster ever. Oh, uh, well, I don't know what it is. Is grossing me out so much about it. You don't like slimy tentacles? I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Is that, is that where Tokyo Hands is now? No. No. Not even close. Not even close. You're right. so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we still love you, though. I, do, I never loved you. I was going to say, what are you... That guy. <laughs> Does he ever put his hand down? No. Yeah. This guy's he needs at all times at least one hand up. He is so weird. Gosh. Why didn't they give her real clothes either? He's about as creepy as... Well, look at them. Yeah. They never <laughs> wear real clothes. They don't own real clothes. <laughs> <laughs> they don't exactly shop at, like, you know, <laughs> JCPenney. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> like the coolest game of paintball ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. 
shoot it in the orb. Oh, um, why, why can't you? Because he's the binocular guy. Oh. The other guy's the inform, infor, infor, informant it's like, guy. like, know your place. Yeah. Prepare to fire. Stand by. <laughs> Stand by to fire. I love how, like... Shoot his glowing parts. Like it makes whale noises. I know. This guy's got an awesome mustache. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Damn. For a platoon. It's a decent composite. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, that's not even a composite. That's a it's a digital model in the frame. Is it? I thought it was a composite where they put. Put it your in. hand down, you doofus. <laughs> <laughs> He's too cool for that. Like it's a different arm he has up right now. So my thing is, okay, Why before he. Going? Before he could put that arm up, did he have to put the other one up and then lower the other one before oh so he gosh. could have it too? <laughs> like, seriously. It's like he doesn't have a single bone in his wrist. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, this then become gas. So it's essentially all... Failed gammers or gammers that weren't like up to snuff. So it implied that they were literally trying to kind of create basically the ultimate like super weapon with gamma. Which is kind of interesting to think. Again, I would have loved to have seen a movie that dealt with like the past. Normally I'm not a big prequel guy. I'm kind of like talk about it in like past tense and I'm good with that. I'd rather push a story for it. But what was being done back then was so awesome that I would love to just see that movie. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so fucking creepy. I just don't know why he's so creepy. Because like, the way well, they use let angles on him like that. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, they're obviously, their intent is to make him creepy. Creep, well, yeah. He's probably the most mild-mannered but, actor in real life. But I'm just trying to figure out why. <laughs> like, what? Like, why are we supposed to find him so creepy? I hope there's some big creepy payoff. <laughs> <laughs> creepy payoff. He's got like jello molds with children's hands or something. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. oh God. I get to smell I'm sure they're fine. I've always wanted to fly. <laughs> Tell command yourself. I'm I'm already running. <laughs> Tell command we're leaving. Fuck yeah, you. I'm like halfway out of the forest yeah, right I'm now. I'm already standing next to command. Uh, with my hands out they arrest me for desertion yeah. <laughs> yes put me in an armor you know they'll say we're yeah. gonna put you in a box underground with an everything light of day yeah. yes please <laughs> please can I, can I go there please can I go there right now <laughs> Who, what, do I have to punch a general what do I gotta do yeah, I'll do it I'll punch a general I'll punch it oh um uh <laughs> tension I mean, this tension so slow <laughs> The fact that I dress like a normal person. Oh, and the fact that you have this girl in this weird fucking cult room. Yeah. yeah. So she looks like she's like if if like anyone were to make a move on her, like she'd be th- she just go with it. She, she's begging for it. Look at her. <laughs> like, look at her. Just she's everything like, about her, her like just looks please. Like, Somebody just touch me. I'm Le- so sick of all this slow tension. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. She's just begging for someone just to pounce on her face. <laughs> and I think I'm just the man for the job. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll I sit, mean, I'll sit on her face. <laughs> hey. I mean, if I was a, a character in the movie, you know, as an actor, I'd be you know, in the so script. If you're, if you're <laughs> I, doing. I love you, wife. Thank you so much. Hey, if you want, you can pounce on her face. I'm totally cool with that. Thank you, old man, for trying to give me food. But you don't, you don't want me to pounce on her face? You pounce on her face. <laughs> I'll just watch. Somebody's got to bounce. Just get, just get me off, out of this slow tension. <laughs> just somebody have sex with this woman already. <laughs> My God. She's the true uh, 
She's the biggest victim She's in this whole victim. movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Maybe, one that's where him and his ten-inch dagger is going to come in. Am I wrong, though? Like, she is <laughs> totally <laughs> sending those signals. I don't like, know if it's the big takeaway from this. All like, this happening, like, but seriously, <laughs> this poor woman, somebody... <laughs> Please no, no. That's always, Please, I'm sir? just, I'm just saying. Am I the only one that's like, every time she's on the screen, it just looks like she is sending out an open invitation to anyone. <laughs> it's like, that's just what she looks like. <laughs> By the way, that was a beautiful shot. Yes. Have sex with a woman, save the world. Hey. <laughs> Jesus. Not confirmed, just gals. <laughs> also, not a scalpel. It's definitely not a scalpel. We know that. <laughs> but he does have scarpel. 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 <laughs> scalpel tentacle arms, in a way. Scarpel tentacles. That's actually kind of true. It is. It's like, is that like its version of a spork? Yes. Look at that. That's uh, awesome. Holy crap. <laughs> what is this thing? <laughs> It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Again, it, there's never really been a kaiju like this. That's why I like it. Because you, it's like you're saying, you're like, what is it? Because usually when you look at kaiju, you're like, oh, it's it's kind of like this. Well, it's kind of like it's that. it's like, oh, it's a lizard thing. It's a... Bug thing. Yeah. It's a, you know, giant shishi dog. It's like, but yeah, when you look... You, if someone asks you, explain to me what Iris is, what would you say? Like, there's really... It's one of those things you just kind of have to see. And even then, you don't really know what you're looking at. Tentacle monster. <gasps> Is this where we're gonna do it? Oh no! A warning shot. And again, yeah, the visual effects in this movie are again. For 1999 no, good. in Japan, yeah, they're really it's good. pretty good. I mean, yes, I know it looks like CGI, but this how it's shot is done so well. They're good. Yeah, they're just good looking movie. Cougar one and Cougar two. Target attacking again. Are there a bunch of mi- two middle aged women? May I fire those missiles, please? <laughs> they're just so desperate. They want the tentacles. Yeah, <laughs> just. <laughs> You want the tentacles? You get it. Gee, I wonder what that could be. <laughs> yeah. It's Godzilla flying backwards. Holy oh, shit. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Did not see that coming. I would not have seen that coming. Well played, that movie. Would have, that would have blown my mind. Ooh. Oh. Hi, guys. That oh. would be the scariest slash most yeah. awesome thing ever. I would retire from being a pilot right there <laughs> and just live off that story. Again, arrest me for desertion right now. <laughs> I've got a bitchin' story. <laughs> like right here, look at this. Yep, I'm okay. going, yeah, I'm going straight from that cockpit to the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, I love this. It's just... just it's an aerial dogfight in a way we've never seen it because the way they both fly mm. is so not like common. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's a, it's a, yeah. Can you quite describe that? It's so it's not, not common. Common. So not common. It's at least rare. <laughs> so they're saying they want to shoot Gamera, right? Yeah, because they're, they've deemed Gamera. Like, look at that. <laughs> Boom! Oh, yeah. It's like an anime, almost, the way they're filming this oh, fight yeah. scene. Oh, it really is. Ooh. Oh, drew some drew some blood. There. Yeah. Some camera blood. Drew first blood, it's on. I don't think it's going to cut it. Yeah. Anti-aircraft unit. Uh, and she gets some mazers. <laughs> because we don't want to shoot him down. <laughs> We just want the people to think we will. But ultimately accomplish nothing. (laughs) (laughs) 
She just looks sad. Like this one's like so really, really no, no so one. Huh? No None one's gonna have sex with me. <sighs> God. No one. They should have put me in this movie. I'd do it. <laughs> Take one for the team. We would have done it five times by now. <laughs> <laughs> Every scene she's in. Every time she has that fucking look of longing. <laughs> Which is every scene she's in. <laughs> so just, I love how just again like he a weird jellyfish in the sky. Just a, because of Gamera's like, oh, oh, they shot Gamera. Jerks. Again, the way this is shot is just so cool. Like, I mean, it's not gonna do anything, but but just make Gamera think even less about collateral damage. I know. Right. Like, yeah, if you already wasn't if you already wasn't being careful before, like I don't really think he's going to give much thought to just Ooh, into the typhoon. Oh. Uh-huh. God damn you. Seriously, I want to see one scene, just one shot with his both arms are down. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. I just want to know why he's so creepy. <laughs> well, he hangs out with this chick all day. Like, what do you think? He's gonna be a well-adjusted member of society. Yeah. Here. And he just like won't have sex with her. <laughs> his hands kind of do. Kind of. The thing is, as close we're gonna get. I don't think his. Look, she's can... not even listening. I know. She's just saying, like, who, who will have sex with me? Why is it that guy? <laughs> what is he looking at? Oh, now he's looking at her. I've just, that's so hot to me, I want to see it fuse. So basically, it's, yeah, it's kind of like this creature essentially wants to usurp Gamera. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't understand. I just don't get it. It's like this movie is so well shot and like, so like, obviously so well directed that I'm just like, what is this character about? Like, like what was their intention? To make you uncomfortable. That's cool. That's I know. Rainbows. This feels like something you would see in Evangelion right I here. Know. It's yeah. Uh, it's such a cool design. Just <laughs> like look at this thing. Oh my god. I want X plus to do just a giant. Uh, it looks figures. like a monster. You could see a monster hunter. I know, I was thinking that too. Yeah, good luck taking that thing down. Here's Japan, give us some DLC. <laughs> and then no one ever won Monster Hunter again. <laughs> the gamma comes flying out of the sky. Oh shit. Yeah. I think I need to play Monster Hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Love that Dutch angle. Just again, the, the sh- just the whole look of it, like seeing it from afar like that, it's such a well, unique design. And I think it's because think about it, most kaiju, I guess except Burning Godzilla, they don't have the kind of glow effect, so it really is striking when you're, it's on the. Uh, it on really the is. <laughs> like the skyline. Yeah, when they have that kind of that glow, it's kind of like when Shin, that one shot you saw of him like from afar at mm-hmm. night, yeah, and you had that the red glow. Yeah, I've always liked when they have like kaiju who have that kind of. Light internal light of some kind because yeah. it's just it's just in their shot at night. Dramatic piano. Oh yeah. The only thing that makes the shot better is if that guy was standing behind her like this. Oh god, that makes it so much. Slow fun. pan over and he's just there in the background doing. It. <laughs> it's like god damn it. It's, like it's I, don't know, I just love that. There oh, he wait. is. Oh, but see, his hands are kind of <laughs> up still. He can't. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know what to do with my hands. He's that guy. <laughs> So yeah, basically this thing is kind of like I, again they never make it super clear, but it's kind of like a mutated Gauss. It's like if Gauss mm-hmm. is like a race, this is like a single like aberration. 
it kind of evolved out of it. So it's not Gauss, but it's related to. I so guess. he is. I, I guess he he just he seems like he's the character that's getting off on all this. He's just he's like, like a fucking cultist. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. kind of what this all is. Yeah, they're drawn to her because they've kind of studied this. Friday. Yeah, kind of from like this cult like mentality around it. So he's like this movie's version of the stoic guy. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> the stoic guy. Look at that. Damn. Boom. Look at that. Insane. God damn! This movie's so cool. I yeah, I know. I always forget how good it is. I'm like, hey, it was good. It was good. And then I watch it again. I'm like, god damn, it's really good. I mean, Godzilla will always be my favorite kaiju character. But I think character, this is just it's but the direction and everything. It's so good. I, again, I think eighty four is directed really well. By that was awesome. awesome. Yeah, like, this just has like such like just amazing shots. Yeah. I know. Just, like, Everything is filmed in such like a great way. Like a lot of people say, it's bittersweet. We don't like to say it, but it's like uh, these movies are kind of better than the Heisei Godzilla films. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Godzilla's a cooler. Mo- I mean, I think so. But the way these movies are, but again, they. Oh they, no! I, I immediately find myself thinking like, oh my god, like what? This guy needs to do a Godzilla movie. Yeah. Well, he did work on. Um, I can't remember if he directed or he um, did the effects, but he did do Godzilla work on Godzilla GMK, mm-hmm. and out of the Millennium Godzilla films, that is considered the best one. So shocker. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, like, look at all this. How they're doing all this. I know. It's very anime too, which I love. I know. That's what I'm saying. All that. It's so moody. And, yeah. And even GMK wasn't as cool as this. I, and I love GMK. Yeah. It's just super, again, <sighs> so cinematic. The lighting is everything. I just want to see more explosive shots from Gamera. Just, <laughs> like that one close-up of his face and the fireball forming in his mouth. Yeah. It's so awesome. Oh, that's creepy. I like that. See, I don't know. This Visually, this movie is just... Again, just showing us the, the scale of destruction. Yeah, so he did direct Godzilla GMK, so he did do a Godzilla movie. Um, it's not, again, personally, I don't think it's as good as this, but visually speaking, it's one of the coolest looking Godzilla movies. That's probably one of the things thematically, you know, it kind of works better. Well, he even actually changed Godzilla, though. He actually made Godzilla a fantasy creature, made as opposed to science Like, he's even said that, like, you know, basically he turned Godzilla into a demon. That was made up of all the souls of those who died in World War II. Mm. Which is pretty badass. And that's why he's got the white eyes and that. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, he also directed the uh, 2006 Japanese Death Note movie. (laughs) Okay. There's something kind of creepy, too, because the ears has no, like, facial expression. So it just kind of seems like a force. Yeah. She oh. just wants to kill Gamera so bad. She doesn't care who dies. She just smacks her. Just kill the girl. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's where uh, she becomes Steven Skull's daughter. She just breaks, <laughs> breaks her neck. Yeah, kill the girl, save the world. <laughs> um. <gasps> oh, that girl, that one just like parkour across the ground. Did you see that? No. I oh, no, like... he looked at what was like oh, off to the kind of... No. She wants to be the special someone. At least someone will let me inside. Somebody touch me! (laughs) Oh no. I think things are going to end well for her. Nope. Well, she's wanted to be touched. She's going to get us (laughs) in. I was wrong. She's the stoic one in this movie. Mm -hmm. Oh. And in classic no. Gamera fashion, he gets fucked up bad too. I love, I love that. Yeah, that's the thing. Gamera is like 
the kind of the working man's kaiju where he will get hurt, whereas Godzilla's yeah. usually like you know yeah unscathed. Yeah, he will take some hits. It goes flying, but as far as like damage. Like, damn. And look at the way the the, 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 the scale of this. It yeah. feels like... Mm -hmm. This doesn't feel like a miniature. This really feels like this is, like, life-size. It's the, so good. This is probably, out of uh, pre-CGI era, the best use of scale yeah. in any kind oh, yeah. you've ever seen. This is, I mean... Oh, no, for sure. Like, like, this whole sequence here, it literally feels like they are that big. Big. It doesn't feel like it's a well, suit. and just like the complexity of these miniatures that are yeah. being destroyed here. Again, with CGI, it's a lot easier to make stuff because you're basically putting it inside, you know, either a real shot or or a Dreamcast or something. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's how this movie was made. It was all in the Dreamcast. Oh my <laughs> god, that guy! Fucking crazy ass. He put it, see, even in death, he puts his arms up. So he, he died as, as he lived with at least one hand in the air, <laughs> serving no function whatsoever. Yeah, right? I just I, he did nothing. Oh God, this is oh, it's so amazing! Like this movie is basically just kaiju porn because it's just everything about it is just so like visually just. Stunning. Like, I'm just like, oh, God. Um, maybe, maybe run now. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what we do. Hey, it's Dagger Boy. Dagger boy. It's like, I'm gonna save the day. How boss would it be if he just jumps up and like oh embeds the dagger down. and just runs all the way down with the dagger? It's only ten inches though, so uh... I hope he does. Uh oh. He stabs her instead with it. It's so cool looking though. Do you still hate Gamera? Mm -hmm. Where's my guy? I know, right? God. That is a really cool suit, though. Oh, yeah. You got this, Gamera. He's just bleeding out, like, ow. Mm -hmm. Well, this is it. This is the end for me. Jesus Christ. God, look at that. He's got a literal fucking hole. <laughs> this should be how the movie started in the Tarantino. It's cameras lying on the ground. And going, <laughs> so you're probably thinking to yourself, how did I find myself in this oh situation? Well, it all started. <laughs> it comes back to the end of the movie. <laughs> Like a, a hateful eight, but with all kaijus. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna take this here knife and I'm gonna go handle the situation. <laughs> just, just tells the knife to go Ow. get him. Dumbass. <laughs> I thought I was gonna stab her. He goes in the head. It, just, oh. it, kill, it kills her. He and used then, mage hand. And then Iris dies <laughs> too. It's like. <laughs> To the girls, they can say for them. You gonna you gonna pick that up? So is uh is your boyfriend? <laughs> he starts making out with her. Ha! See, she's mine. Jesus. Oh my God. You gotta give him. Well, okay, if there was ever somebody who deserved a bravery award, uh... Yeah, there he is. It's, uh, it's homeboy right he there. Bah, 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 bah. Oh! Here we go. Oh, 
That's epic. Yep, this is what you get. Ooh. That's a good sound. Have they joined? Yep. So I love all these kind of weird abstract shots they always do to kind of like symbolize what's going on. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. Eat it all. That's how uh, Iris keeps her in control. She's this continuous, plentiful bounty. <laughs> <laughs> Stay within me. You can eat curry all the time. I'd like to join with Iris. So many cats. So I kind of like how now that they're kind of meant to psychically join, like Iris... Yeah. Here she can now see what Iris sees, and you know, and she kind of realizes. <gasps> Iris killed her family. Yo. Well, again, it's, it's like means to an end. It's one of those things where it's like kind of like okay, Gamera destroys large parts of the city to. Well, it's the cycle of revenge. Yeah. But because of what you did with Iris, now. Yeah. People have died too, so you are literally you are Gamera now. You know? What happened to you with Gamera is happening with other people. Yeah, like Iris. Hey, it's a uh, I have Sauron. Right. Oh! Oh! <gasps> Ow! Ouch! That's bad. Look at that! Look at that boss! Oh, that he just, just killed a girl. Just. Right through him. Look at that. That's where the girl was, right? Well, he's trying to pull her out. Oh. Jeez. Can he even do that, though, without, like, just crushing her? <laughs> yeah, he's giving it the good old college try, you know. <sighs> Look at Gamera's face. She's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> that doesn't look like it hurt. Again, this all looks actual size. It's incredible. Mm hmm. I'm probably taller than these suits, and yet they literally look as gigantic as they're supposed to be. Don't quit until it's over. Spoken like the true daughter of Steven Seagal. He's also giant. <laughs> <laughs> Gamer's not quitting. Why don't you help her? Maybe maybe then she'd be able to get... Oh, Watch I know. This. It's her leg that's under there. I think it was like the guys, and she was just sitting laying there. Ooh. Uh-oh. I like how they did the tentacles mm. CG while even around, like, the, uh, yeah. the suit. So that's the thing. You look at the fight at the end of the second film with Legion, and it was much more... Face. visually epic fight but this is like a lot more dramatically epic like it's you've got this gun Mara. check it look at that boom blew off his own arm he will do whatever it takes oh there's no way she better be dead <laughs> she better be dead. <laughs> or this movie is dead to me. <laughs> oh. oh. Absorb the fire. Cauterize the wound. Oh no, he can remember, he can absorb flame, so he's just taking it in. And look at that. Flaming fist. Oh yeah. Wait for it. Oh. Oh, that's so epic. That is Jeez, awesome. <laughs> Blew off his own arm, sucked up all the fire, and then freaking just made, made a, a flame fist. fist and just in place of his previous arm. It's almost like why doesn't he just blow up all his limbs? <laughs> Damn. 
That is epic. Oh my! When I when I first saw this, I was like, "There's a lot of fire in this movie." Hell <laughs> yeah! So much fire. Damn. Boom. Wonder if he got him. <laughs> Again, are these miniatures, man? They're, they're that tough. wobbling lamppost. I know. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> That's a composite shot right there. That's a good composite shot. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's right, oh. motherfucker. I won. Look at my hand. I got guts hand. God, look at G Gamera. Just looks like Gamera's gonna have to take some time off. Yeah. yeah. It's like I'm done with this shit. Ew. They're like, can, can you not touch us with that hand? Please? <laughs> well, he doesn't have another one anymore, so... And even after all that... I got it. Did Hot Chick die? Yeah, oh, she's dead. Yeah. Ew. So much slime. So much slime. <laughs> I really don't want to give you mouth to mouth. <laughs> Please wake up from this. Just pukes into her mouth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely think the trilogy format oh, works. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> She's just like, I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> I was totally gonna let her die. <laughs> I'm sorry about your family. He just sneezes a fireball into all three of them. <laughs> Nasty. But again, it's, it's interesting seeing Gamera there, like, being concerned <laughs> with, like, people on the ground. Like, again, it's just a lot of things you can do with that character that you just, you don't see really in a Godzilla movie. And, and to be fair, I don't think you really should necessarily. I, I don't think Godzilla's that kind of monster. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, you'd have to create an entire scenario which that would work for him. Which I guess in theory you could, but... I'm, no, I, 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 yeah, I think... They're the, different monsters. Exactly, and I think they... This film really plays the gamma strength. Again, he Gamera's still like the hero, but I like in this film this shows he's not perfect. Like, you know, his But I definitely think the uh, the trilogy format works good for kaiju films. I mean, yeah. I know Again, I think it forces you to kind of keep the stories nice and tight and really just each one has to be good because you don't have like six or seven movies in each continuity that you can kind of because again like the Heisei hey, Godzilla films I feel started really strong and got in the middle they got a little uh, and then at the end they kind of came back really good again so like I said you know my the three I think guns that are really really good are 84, 89, 95 well that's three movies right there but in the middle unfortunately you gotta kind of stretch these out so I'm not saying it's impossible to make a bunch of movies that are all like this good, but I think sometimes when you're trying to crank them out as fast as you are, and even this movie, this movie was years after uh, the other one, so yeah. gave them more time to develop the story, more money for the budget, developing the effects, and right away it shows. <laughs> Camera's like, I, I don't speak your language. <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, now she feels because now she realizes I'm the asshole. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, she realizes just how easy it is to become that, and how she was basically responsible for all of this. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of cool because I would have liked to have seen a follow up to this movie. I say that, but then again, I think this movie is just such a masterpiece that yeah. you know, let it be. But at the same time, maybe a story where too, where now she has to live her life with that guilt, and maybe spends the rest of her life trying to do something that's right by people because you know she's and maybe now camera's not going to be as good at saving people because it's missing a hand yeah that too that's and it. he's going to have a flame hand he's, he's literally better than he was <laughs> <laughs> flame hand regular hand flame, flame hand. hand and despite all that there's still the gas to deal with so it's almost like Gamera's job isn't even done and now it's a school. Ooh, that's a lot of gyaos. It's a lot of gyaos. Um. <laughs> Lots. How many? Lots. Uh, a lot. There's a lot of them. How that many? Evacuate. Does that answer your question? That would have been a good idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So Gamera almost feels like a, like this this the samurai, like this final last remaining samurai left in the world. Well, he kind of is actually in a weird way. Yeah, and that's it, you know. And he's gonna go down fighting. It's the last thing he does. Like there, there, there's no life for Gamera without battle. So for him, it's like if this is to be his end, then so be it, you know. He thanks, Tiras. I know it's a very poetic kind of. Ending. That's why, again, as much as I, uh, even though there's actually a, a really, there's a fan film uh, that someone did as a uh, the sequel to this movie, but officially, I think uh, it's it's the, it ends the right way. Camera's not alone. It wouldn't be if I had my way. He's got the camera squad. I love that's fire and rain. I know. Oh god, it's so epic. I just gush on this movie every time. Eat the fire, Gamera! Eat the fire! Fashion a flame hand, <laughs> and then take off. Seriously, I don't understand why he doesn't eat the fire, though. Well, he probably will. And He's then just letting it burn for a little bit, like, yeah, this is what you get with the Just like that. The absolute guardian of the universe. I know, the, the universe. The absolute guardian. It's they don't say guardian of the universe. I, I kind of think it was more of an Earth-based threat. It's true. But, yep, so that is the epic conclusion to the... Uh, Cameron's the original guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah, he really is. But you don't need the Guardians of the Galaxy if you had a uh, Gamera. That'd be pretty awesome to see them join up. <laughs> I could I could see that happening. <laughs> I might be joking. I would I would watch the shit out of that movie. Or oh, Lord, read yeah. the shit out of that comic. Marvel, uh, if you're listening, make or I should guess I should say Disney at this yeah, point. Disney, uh, Disney uh, make the things I want come true, please and thank Old you. Old Woman was brought to you by uh, uh, Can't Say it. <laughs> <laughs> So, Chris, what do you now think of the? It's awesome. Epic, yes. It's very epic. It's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is right. <laughs> it is right, goddamn. I'm glad no, that you was agree. Really cool. I liked it. Yep, yeah, so there's, to date, still one more Gamera movie. Uh, we'll get to it later on. But very, very different. Uh, not a bad movie, but uh, certainly not this movie. But anyway, we'll get to that one when we get to it. So thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.